Hey guys, this week I want to talk about workspace within Google Workspace. A little bit of workspace inception. If you want to know how to organize your files better within Google Drive using shortcuts and workspaces, then stay tuned. Okay, so this week I wanted to talk about organizing your files within Google Drive. And it can be a challenge from time to time, particularly when you don't own the files themselves. So um, within Google Drive, there are actually two um, other ways to do this. Um, you've obviously got uh, the traditional way of moving the files around. That is, if you have ownership over the files themselves. But within Google, that's not always the case. And, and often within cloud-based tools, someone else may own the file or folder, and we may just have view rights over it. And so that can be a challenge when you might want to access um, uh, documents that are placed in lots of different files and folders. And this may even be the case if you do have the ability to move the files and folders around, but maybe that would be disruptive for other team members. So say, for example, um, you were working on a project and there were documents that were in lots of different folders. It would be really useful if you could bring all of those together so that um, when you needed access to them, they would just be in one place. And that is really the idea of things like shortcuts and workspaces. Uh, within Google Workspace. So that's my little inception joke. Um, so I wanted to demonstrate both of these because I think they're extremely valuable uh, for people who are having challenges um, with organizing files within Google Drive. So for this demonstration, um, as you can see here, I am in my Google Drive. And some of you may have seen this priority area up at the top. Uh, it's very, very useful and it has a couple of different uh, features within it. So the priority will look at uh, the common files that you're using, maybe what you're doing at that exact moment, and it will try to predict the, the uh, documents or the files that you might need. And you can actually scroll across these if you want um, to see what other ones that it's suggesting. But you can also create these things called workspaces. Now, workspaces are private only to you, so other people can't see them and you can't share them um, with other people. I think it would be useful if you could. Um, but at the moment, that's the way it is. So in, in this example here, I'm going to create a HR workspace. Um, and when I create the HR workspace, Google will actually suggest, based on the names of the files and the contents of the files, if I would like to add documents that maybe match the parameters of what I've called the workspace. So in this case, I've called it HR, and Google has found one document that mentions uh, HR, and so I can add that uh, document to it. I can also add multiple other documents by going into my, um, my, my recent documents um, or, or looking at my, my drive or my shared drive. So I can add them from lots of different locations. Once the files have been shared with me, I can select them and I can add up to 25 files to my workspace. So now for me, when I add all of these in um, and I insert them, I will be able to access these files uh, very, very easily because they're all sitting within this HR workspace. So when I, when I go into my Google Drive, I can just click on priority. I can go to my workspaces and I can uh, view four more if I want. So if, if there's more than the first five, uh, then it will suggest that you can click on, on view more. And now I can see all of these documents and I can click on them and, and open them and access them from this single location. So uh, for me, um, I have found this very, very useful when I'm working on a project where documents are in lots and lots of, of different places and I don't necessarily own all the, all of the files and the Google Workspace has just helped me to bring all that together. Okay, so what if you have a folder and you'd just like to add maybe one shortcut to it. So if we take a look at um, my example here that I have, uh, I've got my shared drives down here and I've got my little project B. And in my project B, um, I might want to add something from the internet uh, folder. 
So I don't want to move it because that would mean that the other people that use the internet project folder um, might lose access to that, that file. But I do want to be able to access it from my project B folder, which has all of the, the documents that I need. So I don't want to have to create another workspace. It's got lots of subfolders and stuff. I just want to add a shortcut to one document. So I'm going to add a shortcut to the company survey. I hover over it and I right click. And I get lots of different options here. And one of them is to add a shortcut within Google Drive. There is a little question mark here, which will um, tell you a little bit more uh, about it. And it says that it will create a shortcut to the original. Okay, so I'm gonna add the shortcut here. Uh, I'm gonna click on my shared drives, go into my project B, uh, and I'll leave it in the main one. I'm gonna add the shortcut. So now if I go into project B and I scroll down, we're gonna see a shortcut to the company responses. And you can see it has a little arrow on it, kind of doing a little loop. Uh, and that means that it's a shortcut. And when I double click on it, it, I'm able to open it from here, okay? And I can, if I right click on it, I have a couple of options. Like I can show the file's location because this isn't actually where it is. It's just a shortcut. Um, I can add it to a workspace. So another, another way of adding files to your workspace. Uh, and I can obviously uh, remove it as well if I want and do all the, the usual stuff that you expect to do um, with a file. So what this means for me with the shortcuts is that I don't actually have to, you know, maybe create a workspace with all of the different files. It's just one particular one that I might want to add uh, to that folder. Now, one thing to bear in mind, mind is that adding a um, file shortcut will not mean that it will inherit the permissions um, of the folder that it's in. So the Project B folder and the Internet uh, Team Drive have, have two completely different um, sets of permissions and different people are on them. So if I add the shortcut from there and I want other people to be able to access it, I'll have to make sure that I've also set the permissions uh, on that specific file, okay? Hopefully that has been useful for you um, and that you might be able to use some of these uh, features yourself for organizing your files within Google Drive. I think now that many of us are using cloud-based storage as our primary place uh, to store documents, being able to organize our files and folders in this way um, makes it much more valuable. Maybe you could let us know, are there any particular ways that you organize your files and folders within Google Drive? Um, let us know in the comments below and I will chat to you guys next week. Thank you.